Hello, and welcome to Did You Know Voice Acting Extra. Today, we're taking another look at the long-running anime series, One Piece. As of this video, the One Piece anime has been running for well over 850 episodes, with several accompanying movies, specials, and video games. All the while, its voice cast behind the Straw Hat Pirates has remained consistent for almost 20 years since its first episode aired on October 20th, 1999 in Japan. For just over half that time, the English dub cast of the show, recorded in Dallas, Texas at Funimation, has remained consistent as well. Interestingly, through various circumstances over the course of the show, all of the actors behind the Straw Hat Pirates in both languages have actually played other characters in certain episodes in addition to their own. For a simple example, both of Nico Robin's actresses, Yuriko Yamaguchi and Stephanie Young, played Robin's mother Nico Olivia during a stretch of flashback episodes in the middle of the Emmy's lobby arc. Even if we can find the Going Mary, how will we escape with it? Do you honestly think that the Marines will simply show us the way out? We know that the government is hunting down all the scholars on the island. So before they make it to the library, we have to escape from Ohara. Another example that applied across the board would be during the Thriller Bark storyline, where each of the Straw Hats who had their shadows stolen by the evil Gecko Moria would have them attached to a zombie character that would each just so happen to share the same actors. Case in point, the Titanic super zombie Ors was played by Mayumi Tanaka and Colin Klinkenbeard, the voice of Luffy in their respective languages. I'm made of rubber. Nothing it matters with the punch that weak. You're nothing compared to Jean Bay. Oh, now you done it. When I get up, I'm gonna stop you, pipsqueak parents. What? There won't even be bones left to bury. Colleen had also played Lieutenant Fullbody's hot date, Moody, as well as Dr. Muir of the Bellamy Pirates. Speaking of the ladies of One Piece, another major point in which the cast got to play other characters occurred during the Amazon Lily arc, where several of the Amazonas warriors, such as Ethelandra, and Ishida, and Kikyo, were played in Japanese by the voices of Nami, Chopper, and Robin, respectively. While Luffy was separated from his crew during the three arcs that followed the Straw Hats ambush at the Sabadi Archipelago, the rest of the main cast weren't portraying their own usual characters, but rather some other faces seen over the course of almost 100 episodes, such as the Japanese voices of Usopp and Sanji, Kape Yamaguchi and Hiroki Hirata, playing the mountain bandits Dogra and Magra, Kazuya Nakai, Japanese voice of Roro no Zoro, during this time also played the Impel Down staffer Saldeth. His English counterpart, Christopher Sabat, also played another character in addition to Zoro as well. In the Nintendo Wii video game, One Piece Unlimited Adventure, which Sabat also voice directed, he voiced the final boss known as the Evil Guardian. You can't kiss his ass and tell him you're happy to see him again. You know that. Until he bows his head and apologizes for what he did, he can't come back. I am the Guardian God of this Nire. Throughout various arcs, a few of the Straw Hats Japanese cast even voiced a few of the animal companions of certain characters too. Kazuya Nakai was Pierre, Akami Okumura was Sue and Gonbi, Kape Yamaguchi was Eyelash, and even Hiroki Hirata was Karu. Plus, leading up to their eventual casting as major characters of their own, certain actors ended up playing others in earlier episodes. In fact, sometimes even younger versions of other major characters. For instance, Ikwe Otani was young Sanji during some early flashbacks. Prior to her eventually booking the part of Tony Tony Chopper, her English equivalent, Brina Palencia, played Chopper from the beginning, as Funimation had started recording the Skypea episodes first and foremost, but she also eventually played young Zoro and the filler character Carmen during their re-recording of the first two seasons worth of episodes. Doctorine's medicine works quickly to reduce the fever, but the bacteria from the Kestia will still remain inside your body for a little while longer. Don't count me out just because I'm a kid. In the next village over, I'm unrivaled! Two major examples were later members of the Straw Hats and that of Frankie and Brooke. Kazuki Yao first appeared as Mr. Two, Bon Clay, and Yango before going on to voice Frankie, with Patrick Sides playing Kudobi and Rivers before his appearance as Frankie, who he had been cast as far earlier in the Unlimited Adventure video game. Meanwhile, before booking the part of Brooke, Japanese actor Cho has previously voiced Barbosa and Henzo, while English dub actor Ian Sinclair voiced Itomi Mizu and a guy literally named Ian before first voicing Brooke in the feature film One Piece Strong World. It doesn't matter to me if I'm on land or in the water. I'm just as strong either way. Now you will witness the true power of Fishman Karate. A Water 7's number one super guy. The face of the underworld and you know why. I'm the man with the plan, the power and fame. And people everywhere call out my name. Wow! Because this is a ball game. Can't have you slicing.
sizing each other up now, can we? Why, good afternoon, you <laughs> Thank you all for stopping by. You must excuse me for not greeting you properly before. Interestingly, there were also a couple of cases where the actors were temporarily unavailable to record and were briefly filled in by other minor cast members. Akami Okumura, who was unable to record for Nami for a few episodes, was briefly filled in by Wakana Yamazaki, who had previously voiced Nami's sister, Nojiko. And while Ikue Otani was unable to record for Chopper for a short while, she was filled in by Kazue Ikura, who would later go on to voice Marine Captain Sontomaru. There have actually even been a few rare cases of actors from previous iterations of One Piece later working on the version we all know. On the Japanese side, there was a short One Piece OVA called Defeat the Pirate Genzok, shown at a Jump Super Anime tour a year before the series officially began. In it, Ikuya Sawaki was the original narrator before years later going on to voice Marine Admiral Fujitora. And Wataru Takagi, who fans know better as Bellamy and Vander Decken, originally voiced Zoro in the short. On the English side, there were even a few rare cases where the actors from the original dub by 4Kids Entertainment later appeared in the Funimation version as new characters. Michael Center Nicholas, who played Mr. Nine, later voiced Disco in an arc far later than the original dub ever reached, while Sean Schimmel, who previously voiced Helmeppo, went on to play Dr. Indigo in the Strong World movie. Speaking of 4Kids, a slight bit of fun was actually had by the current dubcast during a pivotal part of the story. At the beginning of the show's big time skip, kicking off the current portion of the story, the Straw Hat Pirates reunite after two years, but not before having to contend with a group of fakers that pose as the Straw Hats. In both languages, these imposters were all voiced by the actual actors of the Straw Hats, but all swapped around. Luffy voiced the fake Chopper. Chopper voiced the fake Nami. Brooke voiced the fake Frankie. Frankie voiced the fake Usopp. Usopp voiced the fake Zoro, and of particular note, while Zoro voiced the fake Sanji and Nami voiced the fake Robin, in the English dub, both of these voices performed by Chris Sabat and Lucy Christian respectively were done as parodies of their four kids' characterizations, right down to their interesting accents. Sounds good. What's he eat? We ain't got none of that. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but it could spell big trouble for us if we're not careful. That's the real deal, cotton candy loving Tony Tony Chopper. But the craziest one of all lies in the fake Luffy, Damalo Black, who was voiced by Sanji's actor Hiroki Hirata and Eric Vale. And what's ironic about the latter is that Eric Vale, years prior to taking the role of Sanji, actually played Luffy in an early pilot episode that Funimation had produced before the license officially went to 4Kids in the mid-2000s. Then, well over a decade later, would voice a whole nother version of Luffy altogether. If your bounty is under 70 million, then we don't want you. So why don't you take your weak ass back to pirate daycare? Corby's got a dream. He deserves a clean shot. <laughs> and now it's time for this episode's random piece of trivia. This time, we'll be looking at an animated series based on the hit video game franchise, Mega Man Fully Charged. This new series began airing on Cartoon Network earlier this year in 2018 and features new interpretations of the Blue Bomber and his many friends and foes from the classic series of Mega Man in particular. As has often been the case for many previous Mega Man shows, Fully Charged is recorded in Vancouver, Canada, and perhaps by no small coincidence, happens to feature a number of alumni from other previous Mega Man shows. To start, there's a number of folks heard in Mega Man NT Warrior based on the Battle Network series of games. Michael Adam Thwaite, previously Dr. Hikari from NT Warrior, plays the new villain, Sergeant Breaker Knight. Sam Vincent, previously Number Man EXE and Iceman EXE, now plays the fully charged Wave Man. Mark Oliver, previously Freeze Man EXE, is now the fully charged Woodman. And Peter New, previously Air Man EXE, is now both the new character Chemistry Man and the new version of Guts Man. Speaking of Guts Man, Gary Chalk, who once voiced old Gutsy in the 90s American Mega Man cartoon show by Ruby Spears, now voices Mega Man's father figure Dr. Light. In fact, Fully Charged is even voice directed by Terry Klassen, who also directed the 90s cartoon and happened to voice Cutman in it. But perhaps most ironically of all, Cole Howard, who once voiced Mega Man himself in the PSP game Mega Man Powered Up, now voices the character Burt Wiley, an elementary school-aged good guy version of the Blue Bomber's arch nemesis. Dr. Albert Wiley, 
Thanks so much for watching. This video was inspired by Did You Know Gaming. So go check out their channel and watch all their videos on gaming trivia. If you like this video, click the link to this one here to learn more about the voices behind the characters of Dragon Ball Z. Also, if you like my voice, check out my social medias. I'm on YouTube, Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter, all as Taggy Films. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you learned something about voice acting.